Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we are going to be looking at a simple speed test comparison of the brand new sports car that was just added into Grand Theft Auto Online, the Debache 770. That's right, this one was highly anticipated. How was it going to perform? Was it going to be able to keep up with the previous sports cars that were added into the game? We're going to find out in this video. So as always, when I do tests like this, all the cars are customized to their full potential. So that includes armor, that includes brake, engine, transmission, turbo, a spoiler when applicable. Essentially, any and all upgrades that can be done to these vehicles have been. This includes the 770 and the other sports cars that I'm going to be racing today. We're also going to be doing this on a 1,000 meter drag strip, which is what we've done previous tests on, and it has worked very well for us. So let's jump straight into this. I'm going to tell you the time first so that I can start talking about them a little bit more. I feel like that style worked a little bit better. So I ran the 770 three times and all of my times were very consistent. I got a 23.192, 23.259 and 23.224. So all those are hovering around the low 23 second, give or take. Again, I'm not the most perfect racer. Uh, these drag races will give a little bit of fluctuation in the times. So just remember those 23, the low 23s. The Masakro race car came in with times of 22.559 and 22.557, the Jester race car with times of 23.093 and 23.059. So just looking at those two cars right there based off of this drag test, the 770 does not keep up uh, on pace with those vehicles. I also tested the regular Masakro. It had the same time as the race car, 22.557. I tested the V12, the Shafter. That one got a 23.224, and the LG got a 23.693. Now, the LG's time is a little bit not indicative of how it actually performs because it is one of the best sports cars in the game, but those numbers are extremely interesting. And I'm going to be talking to you guys uh, right now about what that means and where does this place the new Debache 770. So according to GTA Racing YouTuber Bruffy1322, he states that it is the seventh best sports car in the class. And I even recognized that on my live stream. Like when I was initially playing around with it, I was like, okay, this sports car is good, but it's not great. And that's something I immediately noticed right off the bat. And he's kind of confirmed that as well. So because it is the seventh best sports car, it kind of puts it in the second tier. So what I mean by that is it's not in the top tier class like the Elegy, the Masakro race car, the Jester race car, the regular Masakro, the Feltzer, vehicles like that. So it's not going to be able to compete with those cars, but because it is still in that like really close second tier top class, you'll still be able to use this car in races uh, and still be able to compete. Now, if a really good driver happens to be using like one of the fastest sports cars in the game, like, you know, the race car Masakro or the race car Jester, then you might have a little bit more of a difficult time. But if you are a more advanced or experienced driver, this vehicle, the Debachi 770, might actually be a nice challenge for you because it is a little weaker overall than those top tiers, could give you a challenge in some races. However, with that being said, it actually is the best sports car that we've gotten in a while out of the DLCs since the original Masakro was released and then in the Christmas update when the Masakro race car version was released. Because if you think about it, the last two sports cars that we've gotten have been like the Ferrari GT, it's been the Bestia GTS, and it's also been the Verlier, which have been sports cars that have, uh, let's just say, not been as competitive as we would have liked. So all in all, for a sports car and for something that's coming out in a DLC, not bad and one of the best we've ever gotten since the Masakro, Jester, and then the race car versions of both those vehicles. So from what I've seen so far and from the hour and a half stream I did, from the gameplay I've been recording, from some of the little testing I've been doing so far, it's a decent all-around sports car. It's not amazing in any category, but it's also not terrible in any category, which is why I still say that it makes for a pretty good vehicle to use. You're not going to blow the doors off someone by racing past them because it's got crazy acceleration or top speed, but at the same rate, it also doesn't have like terrible handling, traction, or braking. Once again, everything is just all around solid good. It's like a good B plus in every single category, which is why it makes it a pretty great sports car. Now, when I was racing it, I was 
is kind of able to compare it to the Jester, maybe even closer to the Felter in the way it felt. Uh, but overall, I still really love the look, the feel, the design of this car. However, in this video, we're talking all about performance. And how does it stack up to some of the other sports cars in the game? Well, it does an okay job. Like I said, that's kind of the final consensus right there. It's a good sports car, not a great sports car. Will you be able to hang in races? Absolutely, if you're an experienced driver. We were doing some races earlier today, and I was beating some people that were in Masakros and Jesters and Masakro race cars. So you will be able to use this car. It's not a total clunker whatsoever. And I think that's how all the finance and felony vehicles kind of turned out. None of them are like world beater changing cars, but at the same rate, none of them seem to be horrible either. And that's kind of what I like. I like cars that you can use if you want a little bit of a different flair, a different flavor, but at the same rate, won't break a category. And that's what this vehicle doesn't do either. It does not break the sports car class, which is great. That's good for a few reasons, obviously because of balance. And number two, it forces people not to go out and buy this car if they don't want to. I'll have my full thoughts, reviews, and opinions on this vehicle a little bit later in the day, as well as some more information and a shark card giveaway coming up on my channel and on my Twitter soon. So stick around for that if you are interested in possibly winning some free money for Grand Theft Auto Online, possibly getting yourself a free new Debachi 770. Once again, stick around on my channel a little bit later today. I'm going to be announcing that and giving that away. But that's all for this video. Final verdict. It's a good sports car, not a great one, but I still love the design. I love the Debachi family, and it's definitely going to be one that I'm going to keep in my garage. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Hello. Have you enjoyed your experience so far with the 770? How have you experienced it in races so far? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.